Kevin here, top 100 financial advisor, two-time author, one-time bestseller. And the market is down, let me go here, about 800 points. And I am annoyed, not at the stock market, but at investors who just don't listen, right? Like these are things that we've talked about and known for quite some time. We've sat here, if you've been on the YouTube channel, if you've been on the Facebook page, on the Instagram lives that we do every weekday, you know and have known for a while that we've talked about the potential of a second wave. You know that because there is no cure. States were opening up. It gave people hope. But in reality, the coronavirus doesn't care. We just got off of waves and waves of protests with thousands of people out there in a pandemic. You knew that. You knew that a second wave was possible. The market, though, doesn't always see things logically. And as you can see right here, the Dow is down now 800 points. It's down 700 points because of worries of a second wave that you already knew about. So if you were investing yesterday or the last week in some stock because, oh, my God, it blew up. You, you should have known this already, that people were illogically jumping into a bunch of stocks. Some of them were airlines. Some of them were bankrupt companies. You knew what we know already. The market is just now catching up. And as I have told you guys before, it's like walking a dog. You are the economy, but the dog is going, the dog is the stock market. It's the one that's going, doing all these crazy things. And eventually the dog will follow the person. The dog will follow the economy. The dog is going to go where you want it to go. It's not going to go immediately, but it's going to, if you have a leash, it's going to eventually meet at the same point. So you knew this already. People are saying, well, you know, it's official that it's recession. You knew it was, it was a recession back in March. You don't get 40 million people unemployed and you not be in a recession. We just got official word like yesterday or the day before, but you knew that already. So don't sit, don't look shocked now and react and feel like, oh my God, I just bought Delta and it made me money. And now I lost it all. You knew, <laughs> you knew that a second wave was possible. You knew that we still had pe millions and millions of people unemployed. We had another 1.54 million people file for unemployment today that just came out today. So this is not, this should not be news. These things you knew in advance. So it is your job. I'm not saying that we're going to go all the way back down to March. I don't know. The market could recover by the end of the day. You never know because the market is crazy. Your job is to stay in place. So if you invested in a quality company, you should stick with that quality company and stay consistent with that quality company. If you didn't, and you've invested in something that you know was sketchy, then I don't know what to tell you. For example, we've talked about this before. Penny stocks, I tell you guys to avoid it for a reason. Not because, you know, some people get lucky, which they do. But again, we've talked, you can go back and scroll about four or five days ago on this page on Facebook and YouTube. We specifically brought up Hertz and why you should not invest in Hertz. Guess what? Hertz is back on the ground now because people were speculative. They were trying to hit a home run. They were trying to get rich overnight. They said it was bankrupt. Oh my God, Hertz is not going to go bankrupt. They won't let Hertz die. People bought into it when it was cheap. Some people made a lot of money overnight and look at Hertz today. Back in the news for being frothy. People are, you know, being fraudulent in a way, not, not the company itself, but people who are just jumping into it because I saw somebody else jump into it. Um, again, you can see here, guess what stocks are, are dragging down the market? The ones we've been telling you about right here, the airline companies, United, Delta, American, Southwest, all dropped, including the airline and uh, the cruise lines, dropped 14%, dropped 10%. These are double digit drops. So if you just jumped in the other day and now you're, you're seeing your stocks fall, this is why. But you, you knew this already just because the market started roaring up 40%. It doesn't mean that those stocks are still are all of a sudden quality all of a sudden. You knew I have told you guys this before. United, Delta, uh, American had all been negative since 2007. They haven't been great stocks since 2007. Why all of a sudden, just because they're opening up a bit more, are they now going to be better than what they were back then? 
That's not necessarily the case. Now, Southwest had been good. They had made a lot of money uh, up, up until the virus. So Southwest is an exception. If I own Southwest, I would probably stick with it. It's not going to be a pretty ride. It is not going to be a pretty ride at all. But if I owned it before and I've had it for years, I'm probably not going to let go of it. But the, nothing has changed between today and yesterday. Nothing has changed. Delta was not a great company. American was not a great stock. However, one day later, now people want to get out of it. You shouldn't have been in it to begin with. So I've been telling you guys, I've been warning you guys, follow the page and listen up. Um, so hit the share button. I'm telling you what we already know, what we already know and how things are going to play out. So when you're investing in the market, what do you do now? Number one, choose quality companies, companies that have a history of gains. They could be down temporarily. That's OK. Your job is to stay consistent and not to jump on penny stocks and not to choose companies that haven't done well for years. You can have one bad year. That's fine. But Hertz hasn't been good for many years. Just because they're you know on the verge of bankruptcy does not mean let me jump on it now and hope that it's going to do well. Buy quality and stay consistent. That is your job. All right, that's it for me. Make sure you hit the share button and I will see y'all tonight for our live stream at 10 p.m. Eastern, 9 p.m. Central. Bye.